This is a review of the X-Tech Boroscope model BR250. As you can see, I have the Boroscope in its box right now. It comes in a very nice carrying case, double latched, and all of the pieces are locked tightly in place so that they can't really move when it's being patched, packed around. The main part of the Boroscope comes as a, almost a drill-sized piece with a nice handle and an on-off switch on the bottom. As you can see on the bottom, there's a sliding compartment for the batteries. It does take four AA batteries. Slide that back on. Second piece that we're going to go over is the LCD screen, which is right here. The LCD screen does come separately, although it's included in the package. And you simply slide it directly onto the back here on this connector. Let's do that right now, and it's connected. There are two separate on-off switches, the one that I showed you here on the body. I'll click that on right now and you can see the red light came on. And a sec second on-off switch here on the LCD screen. When I turn that on, you'll see the screen come on. The third piece, and the only other essential piece for doing anything with the boroscope, is here, the extension. As you might be able to see, the extension has a small lip on the top right here. And that allows you to align it perfectly with the handheld piece every time without having to worry that it's misaligned. Once you put that in, you simply slide this cuff up and twist it on. It's got a pretty long thread. Nice part about the cuff, once it's installed, you shouldn't have any problems with things getting in there even when you're crawling under a house, for example. Okay. At this point, I'm going to turn the brightness up a little bit on the screen. Okay, so you can see, or you might be able to see in the background, that causes the flashlight or the light, LCD lights, LED lights on the uh, end of the extension to turn brighter. As you should now be able to see, now we can see with the boroscope. I'm not, I don't have it extended very far, obviously, I'm just looking down at the case. I just want you to be able to see how nice the picture is on the LED. It's, it's going to be a little hard to see on the video, of course. It's a very clear picture. Right now, I'm doing this in full light. Next, I'm going to turn the lights off so you can see how it looks in the dark as well. Okay, there's still a little bit of light in here. It's not completely pitch black. But as you can see, it's a little washed out now. I can turn down the lights. That was all the way off. Turn them all the way up. There we go. And now we can see just how nice a job it is of picking everything up. Let me go over the other pieces in here as well. I'll turn this off. There's a couple other minor pieces in here to go over. Um, this is simply a magnetic holder that attaches to the back. And this is so you can view the LCD screen separately from the device. I haven't found a real use case for that yet, but some people might find that useful. It does come with a wall plug so that you can charge it directly from the wall, or sorry, not charge it, rather, use it directly on power. It comes with several extensions here. Now these are somewhat tricky. I haven't had to use any of these yet, but you can see there's a little mirror on the end of one of these, right there. And these, and there's a small plastic cuff. On the 250, basically, you take the end of the extension, and there's a very small hole in it you probably won't be able to see in the video. But you put these little pieces into that hole, and they're very tiny. They're almost, they're basically pin-sized. And those extensions give you a little bit more uh, versatility. So this, there's a hook on this one, there's a mirror on this one. And that allows you to extend the device in and possibly look in a different direction or hook onto things if you were trying to pull a wire through or something, for example. It's a nice little feature. The little plastic cuff goes over the top so these things don't fall off when they're in the wall. There's a separate model, the BR200, that has a slightly different device for dealing with those. That's almost everything. Uh, it does come with a little SD card, and I already have that here in the LED. I can try to eject that right now. I don't know if I'll be able to get it out, though. On the fly. There it goes. Okay. It's a mini S SD card, and this one's 4 gig. So you can record pictures and videos with the boroscope. And finally, there's just a couple different types of cords here. This one is simply USB, and this one is obviously going to an old-fashioned um, SVTG.
connection. That's all for now. Anyway, that's most of the features of the boroscope. As you can see, it's light, it's easy to use, and it's a very nice device. The extension is roughly three feet long. I would say I haven't actually measured the exact distance. It's about three feet long. And, uh, you know, I've had it up inside of walls already and everything. And it's very easy to use. Very small head here. Very easy to get into, you know, slip in between uh, sockets, in between um, small holes and boards and things like that to try to get up and look for termite damage and look for any other water damage or anything else. Uh, good device. Easy to use. I'd highly recommend it. That's all for now. Thank you.